that Eberflus is capable of. Right. Yes, I think the jury's still out. I would say that we're better than the Jacksonville Jaguars. I would say that we're still better than the New York Jets. I would still say we're better than the New York Giants. Uh, there's a lot of teams out there. I would say the Bears are still better off than. Mm. Um, again, I I like a lot of their offseason moves. I did like their draft. I know they're rebuilding. I only think they're going to be about a six-win team this year. And, I mean, I looked at their schedule yesterday, and it was the first time that I'd seen who their opponents are. I mean, I can I can see them actually squeaking out eight wins because it's kind of a soft schedule. Um, you know, they do get to play the Jets. They do get to play the Giants. Uh, depending on what Dolphins team shows up in, in the Soldier Field, they play the, the Dolphins at home. Um, you know, that's a December game. They still haven't released the date yet, but if that's a December game, that could favor the Bears. You know, there, there are – some things that, that I like and are something I, I don't think this is a playoff team. I don't think this is the best team in the division. I think the only team in the division that they are currently better than would be the Detroit Lions, even though I think the Detroit Lions are going to be much improved from last year. They still need a quarterback. Hmm. But I still I think the Detroit Lions are, are the only team the Bears are better than in the division. 31 is kind of uh, – Kind of a slap in the face to, to Bears fans, but Bears fans need to remember too is that with, this organization has done nothing to prove to us that they've ever made the right move. Right. So, do I like what they're doing? Do I like Ryan Poles? Yes. Do uh, do I like the hire of Matt Eberflus? I'm not sure yet. So, uh, there are a couple like guys who I wanted to see him for that. I don't do even I, really know much about like Matt Eberflus. So, Eberflus, I'm not. I'm sure. hopeful. I'm hopeful that he's the right guy. I'm hopeful that they got it right this time. I just, I'm not, you know, I'll wait and see because I'm a fan, but unlike Wyatt, I'm a, I'm a realistic <laughs> fan. So, and so I, I just want to see what they have for it. So, Combs, pre, pre-show, like when I told Wyatt that the Bears came in at number 31, his jaw literally landed on the floor. I had to go grab my fishing pole and reel it up to, to like get it back in to like get it back intact he was legitimately shocked that the bears were that bad the only team that was ranked below the chicago bears were the houston texans and rightfully so so wyatt um if you were to put the chicago bears in some type of power ranking form uh besides 31 where would you have them? Is it top 20? Is it top 15? Is it it's a top five team? Where do you, where would you have the Chicago bears? Well, I, uh, first off, I don't mean to bring this back at all, but, uh, I was just thinking about it and we forgot a legendary football movie, which is Rudy. Uh, and second, I don't like Rudy back to the point here, what we were talking about. Um, yeah, I was just more like, shocked because I'm a huge believer in Justin Fields. This is something that I've been saying since he was in college through last year's draft process. Um, And the fact that they were at 31 was, I I guess, more surprising. I really didn't expect them to be that low in people's eyes. I mean, they're obviously the Chicago Bears, so I figured that it wasn't going to be too high. But uh, (laughs) but, uh, I would would say I was was genuinely surprised that they weren't – because, I mean, they're a bad team, but they're not, like, like they still are going to win They're a bad, games, good team, right? You know? They're the best of the yeah, bad teams. Yeah, like they're, they're still they're, – the Bears this year are going to win, like – they're going to be in a lot of games, but they're going to lose a lot of games. But they're going to win, like, three games, and Justin Fields – or, I mean, three of those six wins are going to be, like, Justin Fields taking over in the end and, you know, showing flashes of greatness for the future. So – I would I would have them at, at the absolute minimum. I think they have to at least be top twenty five. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like yeah, and, that's, and, and that's the, what the I was thinking too. Twenty four too. So yeah, yeah, you said twenty four for me is the right spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know about top twenty, but yeah, top twenty five and twenty four. Twenty four is a good spot. I like that. Yeah, so you, you guys are putting them above like seven to eight teams, and I just I mean the Philadelphia I Eagles. Just think some eight teams dis- are better than what? If, if if you take the bottom, if you take the bottom eight teams of the eight divisions in football, 
I think all of those teams are probably worse than the Bears. Really? So that's coming from a Packers fan. Hmm. They're they're of the three tier of the divisions. So I don't they're not going to be better than the one and two seeds in each division, and they're probably they're not better than pretty much any of the other three seeds for the divisions. But they're better than at least all the four seeds, I think. I don't see them better than any team in the AFC besides the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I guess the Houston. You're tag, out of your tag, mind. Tag, 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 tag. Yeah, they're not better than the Jets. No, uh, I. They're not better than the Jets or the Texans. I. Oh, so we are going to talk about the Jets they're draft, the uh, like you know, like later on next week. But I think I think the Jets did really well in this draft. They drafted the offensive oh, line. Oh my god. They they drafted the offensive line last. 